In this episode, we will explore the middle part of Zambales, specifically San Felipe, Kapangan, and Potolan. Since I live in Kabangan, we'll start our journey in Kabangan, Zambales. Our first stop is the elementary school that I went to. My old school, elementary school. This is where um, I went for my first through sixth grade. Anya. This is the high school I went to. It's called Immaculate Conception Academy. We didn't have this many buildings. We only had that. We didn't have this. We didn't have that. We only had that building right there. That building right there. And then this building right here. Hi. Okay. On our previous episode of the Philippines series, we also went to Dapia River located in New San Juan, Kabangan. This is a privately owned property, but people are more than welcome to explore. Yeah, we visit po natin si Madam, si Miss Roji. Hi Miss Roji. Ano ginagawa mo? I'm cleaning the compound because it's, there's a lot of leaves, mango leaves. Okay, I'll go there right now. Ayan po siya. Kapit bahay na may mango to ji. Yes. Mango tree. Yeah, that's what we do every morning. We try to the backyard. Our day is not complete without having taho for breakfast. Hi! What's your name, Ate? Tanya po. Tanya? Ano ka dito? Oh, ganda ng coffee shop here in Kabangan. 21st beat. It's cozy, it's fancy, they have clean restrooms. Is this the only coffee shop here? Mm. What do you think of this place? Like, what's your experience? It was a great, uh, it has a great food. Nice. Yes. 21st coffee bean. San Isidro Beach in Kabangan, Zambales. Uh, this is where we used to um, swim and hang out with friends. So this is the beach of Kabangan. As you can see, the sea is rough. It's not advisable to swim, but during the summer, it's pretty nice. This is a, a new beach resort here called O'Connor Beach Resort.
driving around here, San Isidro. This is the uh, beach area. Coastal area, I should say. We're heading to Filmida. Ito yung bridge na... Ano bridge to G? Makampaw Bridge. Makampaw Bridge. Kagagawa lang ba nila ito? Dapat ganito ang gawin nila sa Mapura. This is Kabanggan. Look how nice Kabanggan is. Ang sing ganda o. This is Kabanggan. As we were driving around the town of Kabanggan, I was totally feeling the Bali Indonesia vibe. The lush and green rice paddies with the mountain as your backdrop. stop is Putolan. Putolan is a neighboring town of Kabangan. It's north of Kabangan and south of Iba. Our first stop in Putolan is actually located at Mount Kalibungan. We drove uphill on a windy road so take precaution when going up to Mount Kalibungan. I don't know where Roger took me, but oh my gosh, the view, the view is amazing over here. There's a ship over there, there's the beach, there's the river, wow. this place is amazing. I was hiking with Roger. Pakalayo. Tapos doon pa pala. Ayop ka. After hiking for 50 meters, we arrived at Blessing Camp and Farm. We're at Blessing Camp and Farm. I can barely breathe. Because we hiked all the way there. Down there. But oh my gosh, the view is amazing. Even living in Sambales for 18 years, I've never been to a place such as this. You can see the Sambales coast, the valley, and also the mountain range. We're here at Blessed Camp and something. So you have to hike up and this is the top part. Actually, this is not the top part. That's the top part right there. They have a really big rock here. 
I don't know where that came from. Maybe from Mountain Google. It's cute. And it threw it over here. And then this is what you see. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's amazing. I'll, I'll bring my kids here one day. Someday. Punta kaya ng lugar ni Bunbun, hmm? May mga sarili silang okra, sitaw, ayan. Kaya lang kailangan yung umakyat ng bundok. Ganon, mag-part na. Mag-part na, mag na kayo sa baba. Tapos, mag-hike kayo ng mga quarter. Pero, oh my god naman ang view, oh. Grabe. Ayan, we're walking back. Oh my gosh. At least it's, it's downhill now. Sko po, kanina. As in, feeling ko mamamatay na ako pag akyat. Pero worth it naman kasi maganda yung view. And very accommodating si Miss Bon. Si Bon Bon, na dati kong, dati nga uh, anak ng piano teacher ko siya. Nung bata ako, nag-aaral ako ng piano kay Miss Maru. Anak niya si Bonbon bon, na makulit. So, ayan. Dito siya nakatira. Pero, just ko, Lord. Ang hirap akyatin. Ang hirap ding babaen. No ba yan? Ayan. Malapit na daw kami sa baba. Pero, at least, pababa na siya. Hindi na siya pataas. Kanina feeling ko mamamatay ako. <laughs> ayan. Huwag niyong kalimutan. If you ever come by Sambales, go to Blessing Camp and Farm. Um, that's owned by Miss Bon here in Botolan in Kalibugungan. Kal Kalibug Kalibugungan. Kalibungan. Kalibungan, hindi Kalibugungan. Akala ko Kalibugan, yung pala Kalibugan. Kalibug Kalibungan right there. Oh, yun siya. Kalibungan. Kalibungan. Mm -hmm. Pero pag Ilocano ka, kalibungan. Our next stop in Potolan is Sundowners Beach Resort. This is a two-hectare beachfront resort located in the municipality of Potolan, a town known for the world-famous Mount Pinatubo and Tukal Tukal Falls. Sundowners is the newest tropical destination in the north that features whitewashed villas by the beach. This place will give you the ultimate private beach house experience that feels like you are in Cancun, Mexico. That's... That's the pool. It's not infinity. After exploring the must-see spots in Batolan, we stopped by a nursery in Barangay Bangkal along the highway.
Now let's go to our last spot, which is San Felipe. This is Bucao Bridge, which is to me very famous. This bridge gets flooded every time there's a torrential rain. Our last stop is Liuliua Beach. This was once a small and quiet village in San Felipe Zambales, but it has become a popular tourist destination. It's a go-to place for people who just want to lounge around and soak up the sun, as well as surfers who love the pretty strong waves all year round. This is the end of our Zambale series, so don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel documentaries. On our next video, I will be taking you to a modern metropolis here in the Philippines.